Hey you, yeah you, the one staring at the screen, thinking you're doomed to academic failure. Let me guess, you've tried studying, but your brain treats information like a slippery bar of soap in the shower. You sit down, open your book, and suddenly, you need to check your phone. You need to scroll. You need to reorganize your desk. You need to stare at the ceiling and contemplate the meaning of life. Sound familiar? Good. Because I have some news for you. You are not dumb. Your brain isn't broken. You just haven't been given the cheat codes to the game of studying. And in the next four minutes, I'm going to give them to you. This isn't magic. This isn't some fake motivational fluff. This is science-backed, real-life, battle-tested advice that will make your grades do a complete 180. Part 1. Why your grades suck. All right, first, we need to diagnose the problem. Your grades aren't low because you're incapable. They're low because you're using the wrong strategies. Picture this. You're trying to eat soup with a fork. No matter how hard you try, it's just not gonna work. But if you switch to a spoon, boom, soup city. The problem isn't you, it's your method. Most people fail at studying because they do it passively. They highlight, reread, stare at notes for hours and hope their brain absorbs the information like a sponge. But your brain is not a sponge. It's more like a stubborn dog. You need to train it correctly, or it will run wild and do whatever it wants. So how do we train your brain to actually retain information? Part two, the fix, three game-changing strategies. Let's break this down into three key strategies. You master these and your grades will skyrocket. Number one, the active recall cheat code. Imagine you had to teach a class on what you just studied. Could you do it? If not, you don't actually know it. Here's the trick. Stop passively rereading and start testing yourself. Close the book, hide your notes, and force your brain to recall the information. Do this every few minutes. It's like training a muscle. The more you flex it, the stronger it gets. Number two, the Pomodoro Technique. You know how you can binge watch an entire season of a show but can't study for more than 10 minutes without getting distracted? That's because your brain hates long, boring study sessions. The Pomodoro Technique is the ultimate hack. Study for 25 minutes, then take a five minute break. Repeat this four times, then take a longer break. This keeps your focus razor sharp and prevents burnout. It also makes studying feel less like torture and more like a game. Number three, the Feynman Technique. Ever notice how teachers know their stuff inside out? That's because teaching something forces you to simplify and truly understand it. The Feynman Technique is simple. Take a topic you're struggling with and explain it as if you're teaching it to a five-year-old. If you can't explain it in simple terms, you don't understand it well enough. This method exposes gaps in your knowledge and forces you to fill them. It's like finding holes in a boat before you take it out to sea. Fix the holes and you won't sink in your next test. Part three, the mindset shift that changes everything. Okay, here's the part most people skip. The way you think about studying determines your results more than anything else. Most students see studying as punishment, a chore, a necessary evil. But what if I told you that your mindset is the biggest roadblock to success? Studying isn't about memorizing random facts to pass a test. It's about training your brain to be powerful. When you shift your mindset from I have to study to I get to learn, everything changes. Your brain loves information. It craves knowledge. Why do you think you can spend hours scrolling reels? Because they feed you tiny digestible chunks of new information every few seconds. If you start treating studying like that, breaking information into small, engaging parts, you'll actually start enjoying it. And here's the secret sauce. Small wins lead to big momentum. When you start using Active Recall Pomodoro and the Feynman Technique, you'll feel a sense of progress. That feeling is addictive. It's the same dopamine hit you get from checking your phone, but this time, it's actually making you smarter. Part four, execution, what to do right now. All right, no more talking. Here's what you're going to do. Number one, pick one subject, just one. Number two, set a timer for 25 minutes. Use the Pomodoro technique. Number three, use active recall. Test yourself, don't just reread. Number four, 
Use the Feynman technique. Explain what you learned in simple terms. Number five, do this daily and watch how your brain transforms. Look, you are not dumb. You just haven't been given the right tools. Now you have them, so go use them. If you want even more game-changing study hacks, hit that like and subscribe button so the algorithm knows you're serious about leveling up. Now go study properly this time. Remember, your future self is counting on you.